Yo, what is up guys? One of the videos that I've had a ton of requests about has been how I do my panels and if it's possible to do those in Canva. The answer, absolutely. Today, we're gonna be making these. Let's go. Before we get started, let's get a quick word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Own.Pro, the subscription service from the legends at Own.TV. For just $12.99 or less a month, you get unlimited access to over 400 premium overlays and alerts. After a quick install of the Own.Pro software, you'll be able to change the entire look of your stream with the click of a button. Use my affiliate link down below to support the channel and check out all that Own.Pro has to offer. By the way, guys, if you're not already, make sure you sub to this channel. We're making videos just like this every single week to help you make an incredible stream on an absolute budget. And hey, follow me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes on Thursday, and I'd love to see you guys over there. All right, first thing you can do, open up canva.com. If you don't have an account, go ahead and make one. Uh, this tutorial is going to require you to have pro, but no worries. I have a 30 day free trial of pro down in the description. Just go click that link, make your panels, cancel your pro account if you'd like, or use it for the next 30 days and see if it's worth continuing. So to make these, the first thing we're gonna have to figure out is your size. So the size we're gonna make these. Now, the size that I'm gonna use um, is going to be 320, 320 pixels wide by about 450 pixels tall. Um, but whatever you're gonna make yours, you just need to figure out the total size right here at the beginning. Uh, go ahead and open up your calculator and figure out how many panels you're gonna make. For this tutorial, we're gonna make six panels. But if you want to make nine or 12, just bring those into the calculations. We're basically gonna put all of our panels on one big image. I'm gonna make my panels 320 pixels wide, and so I know I want three across. Uh, and three is always a good one. Most screen sizes will have three panels across, so designing them at three is a very good idea. So 320 times three is gonna put me at 960 pixels wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create a custom size design and I want it to be 960 pixels. And I'm actually gonna add uh, a few extra pixels just to give me a little bit of working room. Honestly, this size is not that important, but you just wanna make sure you have enough space to work with. Um, and I know I want it to be about 450 uh, pixels, maybe a little less, I think it's maybe it's like 430 pixels tall. So we'll go 430 times, or times two, because I'm only going two pixels high, 860, and I'm just gonna bump that on up uh, to about 900. So I'm at 975 by 900. Uh, and I'm just gonna click create a design. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is decide on what your background of your panels are gonna be. So some sort of really abstract looking background works really well. So I'm just gonna search abstract wallpaper. Uh, because usually if you search wallpapers, they're very high quality. Um, and so you can go through here um, and look for something that maybe fits your brand. Um, you could always say, you know, if your brand color is red, red abstract wallpaper, uh, and pick, you know, one of these that, that kind of fits your brand. Now, uh, for me, I'm, I found one earlier that I really liked and I want to go back with. Um, the thing is you kind of want a, a decent amount of movement in it because it really shows that how these connect um, when there's a lot of places for them to, well, connect. So I'm going to uh, right click and copy this image. I'm going to um, open it right here in Canva. I'm just going to right click and paste it in. Uh, of course, it's going to say that, so I'm going to just press Control V. And there's my image. So what I'm going to do with this particular image is I want to um, turn it upright like this at a 90 degree angle. Um, now, little trick, if you make this the full size of your background, Canva is going to do this really annoying thing where it uh, makes it the background. I'll show you an example. If I make it the full size um, like that, Canva now has made it the background and I cannot move it. So I'm going to detach it from the background. And I'm going to go right to the edge, but not quite to the edge. See, I have a little gap on both sides. And now I'm going to size it up just like this. You know, that looks pretty good. So that is roughly what we're going to work with. Now I've created it in a uh, in a little frame here. And I think that's good. It's kind of, it's kind of cropped off the tops and the bottoms. Uh, but this is a good portion for me to work with. Next thing I'm going to do is figure out... Um, my frame that I'm going to be using. So right here, go to elements, go down here to your frames, and I'm going to expand these. Now, honestly, you can use any of these shapes for your panels. Any shape that you see that floats your boat that you really like, like, I mean, 
this could be the shape of your panels and that could be really cool looking honestly um but for me i'm gonna go a bit cleaner than that and we're gonna go with something like this one right here okay uh yes let's see this one that one's pretty good i kind of i thought i had one with a border on it that i liked let's see there it is okay so honestly you could use any of these and on the last ones i used this one right here but i i kind of like this one without the 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 border around it so i'm going to go with that one for this tutorial and see how they look so what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust my size uh roughly the size that i want these to be and i'm going to put it about in the top left corner and i'm going to pay attention um to my sizing so 300 by 450 and i just want to make sure that i have enough room to get two and i do um and so it's exactly what i'm gonna do now i'm going um to bring this to my top left now what i'm gonna do with this image now is i'm gonna bring this image inside of here now it's automatically gonna resize it down and we don't want it we want it to be the full size and i want to line up this top left with the top left of my screen and then from here i want to stretch this uh, to be the full size okay it's really important you may have to zoom out just a little bit like i'm having to do right now i want it to be the full size of my canvas and i want to line up that top left every time okay all right perfect now i'm just gonna alt hold down alt and drag this over uh, and i'm gonna center it into the screen here and i'm gonna do the same thing i want to drag it over just like that okay all right now i, I did make a mistake I, I actually want these to be side by side for now okay all right, just like that. And you see how it's already continuing on. Um, I'm gonna go over and make another copy of this one. Pull, click into it, drag it over till that top left matches up. And you can see how these are matching up perfectly, right? So I'm just gonna keep this whole thing going. I'm just gonna select all three of these, drag them down. Oh, that one didn't come. We'll drag it down now. Same thing, grab it, move it up to that top left corner. Um, and you can kind of see, as you're working with it, you can see where it's lining up and where it's not. Um, and so you can you can tweak it and adjust it if you want um, but i found that it doesn't have to be perfect but yeah, as close as you can get it there okay right there you can tell these all already line up with each other very well so i'm going to zoom back in and i'm going to move them into their appropriate places just like that okay just gives me uh something easy to work with now the first thing i want to do is i know the wet how bright these are right now it's gonna be kind of hard to see anything on those and so I'm gonna to go to my elements, to my lines and shapes, and I'm gonna to try to find a, a shape that's about that right size. So we'll go with this one. Um, I'm hoping those corners match. It's the only thing I'm a little worried about. Okay, man, it is close, isn't it? Even though this doesn't line up perfectly, I, I think it's okay. We will, uh, we'll, we'll try it the way it is and, and see how it looks. Uh, so I'm just gonna make this black. Uh, and then I'm going to lower my opacity. Hmm. Yeah, that's driving me nuts. I don't think I can do it. Uh, but really, I was just wanting to darken it. Something like that may work. Let's go and uh, go in and see about bringing uh, the brightness down on all these to about negative 70. Okay, so now we have uh, these kind of dark. It should be easy to see anything we put on them. And so now we're going to actually design out the individual graphics. So say uh, this first one, um, something pretty common we would do is maybe like an ad about me section. And so I'm just gonna go back to my elements uh, and I'm going to go right here to just a round frame. Uh, remember frames are what you can put an image in. There we go. I'm gonna put a picture of myself and maybe I wanna put uh, just a light, light stroke on it. I'm pretty sure there's a frame that has a round stroke on it, but you know, we'll just do this real quick. See if we can get that centered up a little better. Just like that, there we go. Group those together. There we go, we have a nice stroke on there. Next, I'm just gonna press my T tool to bring up text and I'm gonna say about me. And now I'm gonna select the font that I'm gonna use for the rest of this design. Um, and I'll just go with Gotham Black, I think is a great choice here. Then I'll hold Alt, drag down. I'm gonna keep it about that size. I'm gonna make it left aligned. I'm gonna make it Gotham Light. Uh, now you can use whatever font you want. I'm going to drag this thing because I don't want it to be quite that big. Um, and I'm going to make my text a little smaller, say 10. And maybe I'll bring this up to about 13. Yep, something like that. 
uh, then you would add some text. I'm just going to grab some lorem ipsum, which is just filler text. You would actually type out something, you know, important about yourself, about your channel, you know, about your life. I'm just going to grab, you know, this right there. Perfect. Something, you know, like that. And then just We're going to spacing a little bit. And there we go. So you have a little about me section. Um, next, you probably want to do, um, let's say a, a YouTube, right? You want people to follow you on YouTube. So just type in YouTube in your elements, go and grab, you know, a, a YouTube icon, something like this. Uh, actually, I want to grab this one because I want it to be, uh, I want that center to be out of it. I'm going to go, you know, sort of, sort of small. We want to be, we want to be pretty minimal here. Something like that. Make it white. Grab this, you know, bring it over here and just type in YouTube, right? And we're going to bump that size up. We'll say wait, about 30. I think 30 looks pretty good. Right there. And we'll bring this here. That seems like a good spacing. So let's just center the two in this picture. Perfect. Now I'm just going to alt drag this over because the next one's just going to be Twitter. Grab the one we want. And I just want just the bird. I left the YouTube logo in there so that I could get my sizing correct. I've got a quick click in that. And hold down alt and drag it to be the perfect size. And then I'll move that. Delete that. There you go. So you have your YouTube, Twitter, you have an about me. Um, if you want to rules or anything like that, you can kind of do the same way. Um, obviously discord would be the exact exact same thing um one that i have that's pretty unique that you might have is uh stream loots and so if you use something like that um go and search for an element that fits for stream loots you could use some sort of cards uh let's see if we can find anything that will kind of fit well uh you know this kind of works I, I i can't say i love this graphic but you know it, it gets the point across uh go here make it white right and grab one of these texts just keep your text overall pretty much the same this one I may make a little bit smaller because it is coming a little close to the edge. Uh, something like that. Grab them, center them up together. There you go. Something like that. And you can kind of change that, choose some different cards, whatever you'd like. Just keep this going, make whatever you need. If you need a discord, if you need, you know, your Facebook gaming, your podcast, anything like that, just keep the same style going across all of them. So now the next step, uh, we know that they all line up and they're going to look like they line up perfectly. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually move them to their own individual canvas. So I'm just going to grab everything and I'm going to group it together. So control G or just go up here and click group. And you know, obviously these two don't need it because I don't actually have anything there, but we'll keep them there just to show you how you would do this. Next thing you're gonna do is go back to Canva. You wanna copy something that makes something that's this exact size. So looking at it, my exact size is 300 by 450. So I'm gonna go to give myself just a little bit of room, 310 by 460. Give 10 pixels on both sides. Create a new design. Now that you have it here, I want to uh, go ahead and make six pages because that's how many panels I have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Click into my first page. And now all I'm going to do is go and copy this one. Control C, Control V, right? Just like that. And now here I can make sure it's centered. Perfect. Next, I'm going to copy this one, which is already grouped, which makes this a lot easier. Go down to the third page, copy this one. And so on and so forth. Go ahead. I'll fast forward to when I have all these done. Okay. Now that I have all these done, what I'm going to do is make sure they're all centered. So the quick way to do this, just click it, go position, middle, center. Position, middle, center. This is very important. You want to make sure all of these are positioned perfectly. Okay. And for the reason that one didn't go there, but if you moved around, you see how that line, the pink line going up and down or vertically and horizontally. Uh, that's what we want. So I'm going to have to do the same on this one. There we go vertically, horizontally, just like that. And this one I did already center up, but we'll make sure just like that. You want to make sure they're all perfectly centered. If not, um, they won't line up quite right. Um, this is where you're going to need um, Canva Pro because you need to be able to download these with a transparent background. Now, what you could do if you do not have Canva Pro is you could make this background 
a you know my trick the, the bright green color right uh just make it a a bright green to hurt your eyeballs uh then export all these and run them through a background remover tool like remove.bg which i'll have linked uh, down in the description but again if you want to do these quickly in the way that i'm doing them right now the easiest way to do it um, is just going to be use the 30-day free trial that i have down in the description and just export these as transparent background and you know while you have it for that 30 free days go and binge watch a lot of my other videos get all the stuff you need made for your stream done and then you know cancel this cancel the subscription if you want to all right so now i'm just going to download these okay now that those are actually downloaded you're just going to go to your twitch so i'm going to go to mine twitch.tv slash dr heels if you're wondering where to watch me that's that's where to do it uh, i'm actually live right now you're going to see me live on this screen because i'm actually live while we're recording this tutorial um so we're live there's chat hey chat say hi um you're gonna go down here to your edit panels first i'm actually gonna unzip this folder uh, that these all exported here's all six of mine and so now i know the order i need to put them in extract all extract okay and so here they are and i i am just gonna drag them off screen for a second so that i can work i would go to edit panels go down now these you can see my panels already here i would just go hit the plus button add a text or image panel that's exactly what we want to do i'm going to click add image um, drag my you know about me into there bring it down to kind of fit it and click submit now that's exactly what you're going to do on on that one because there's really nothing to it now on this next one add text or image panel and we're going to go and do our youtube now our youtube click add image our youtube needs to be a linked file so size it down just like that and uh, go to image links too and you want to make sure you link it to your youtube channel that way when someone clicks on it it takes them to your youtube channel so submit and i'm going to make sure those are submitted and and you just follow that those same steps for all of the panels that you're going to do and so i'm going to turn off edit panels and and obviously they're not beside each other so now you can't see them lined up let me add one more so you can at least see it lined up and you see they would line up but this this one is smaller than this one you, you get how it works. They'll all line up if you don't have all this other stuff there. And then when someone clicks on it, just like that, it will take them to your YouTube channel or you know, wherever you've directed them to go. Um, and that's that's it. That's the whole tutorial. That's a quick way to do it. So guys, I really do hope that was helpful. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you use this tutorial to make some really cool Twitch panels, do me a favor, uh, leave a comment down below with the link to your Twitch channel. I'd love to come check out your panels that you made from this. Um, or if you wanna share them in my Discord, I'll have it linked in the description. Uh, there is a share your art channel. You can go in there uh, and share your panels. We'd love to see what you guys made with this and see how creative that you got. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're putting out videos just like this every single week. I'm trying to do it regardless. You can tell I still got a little bit of a cold going on right now, but we're we're getting these videos out there. All right. I do hope this was helpful. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. Again, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and sometimes Thursday, and I'd love to see you guys over there. Uh, anyway, hey, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one. There we go. That burst rifle was hitting, man. Whew.